Welcome back, everybody. This is Mr. Fada, and in today's Fadacast, I'm going to show you how I can make a flame painted design using the Flame Painter experimental online painting tool and combine two flame painters together using Pixel Art, an online version of Photoshop that you could use on your Chromebook. To begin, I'm going to lower the symmetry on the flame painter to one and turn the gradient off. This will create a design using a single color. I then click on the mouse pad and drag my mouse around. Sometimes it's good on a Chromebook to click with your left hand down onto the trackpad and then move your finger around on the right hand to create your design. Change colors once or twice to get a couple of different effects. Now that I have my picture created, I'm then going to take a screen capture. To do that, I'm going to hold Shift, Control, and tap the screen switcher key on your keyboard, just above the 6. I then click down with my mouse and drag the crosshair across the screen. It takes a screen capture of the design. I then go over to Pixel R. And from Pixel R, I click this blue button here that says Open Image. I'm going to navigate my way to the screenshot I just created and click open. And there I have the flame painter that I just created in Flame Painter. Pixelar has tools to the left side, just like Photoshop, and has a layers panel here to the right side, again, just like Photoshop. I'm going to click on this button here. It says Add Image, a universal icon for adding an image. And I have options to choose from my browser, the URL, or from stock. I'm going to choose Browse My Hard Drive. I'm going to pick another picture, another screenshot that I completed earlier in this project. I'll click Open to that. And I'm also going to close this menu out. Now I have one flame painter on top of the other flame painter. And you can see them in the Layers panel. The blue is on top, and the magenta layer is on the bottom. These three little dots are the layer settings. I'll click on layer settings and then from the blend modes I'll click on the word none and navigate my way through the different screen settings. These are creating different modes or different filters that you could add and blend the two works together. And I keep doing this until I find something that I like or something Ooh, that pops. That's really neat. I think I'll go with difference. I'll check the other ones just for fun, just to get familiar with the different pieces. But for this example, I'll stick with difference. I can close that out, take a good look, and notice that one picture is on top of the other, and I can see through the top picture to the picture below, and it's creating a new effect or a new blend or a new filter. Again, that's called blend modes. Now, simply, I just save this. I'll click on this file name here and type flame painter underscore difference using the filter name in the title. I'll keep it as JPEG at a high level and then select download. It saves to my disk from my downloads folder see my new picture downloads and there you have it everybody I can create a flame painter design using an online painting tool called flame painter and then combine two flame painters together by using pixel art and opening the two documents together and changing the blending mode of the upper layer well that's our fatty cast for today Tune in next time.